Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are back again with another PWCC Weekly Review, where I go through the top 100 soccer card auctions for the week, and uh, yeah, we talk about them, see what's going on. If you like these weekly videos, make sure to leave a like, it makes me know that you like them, and I'll keep doing them. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So this week, and I guess going forward, um, early on whenever I was doing these, they were like 40 to 50 minutes typically. I'm going to try to keep them a little shorter, mostly because the the quality of cards being auctioned are not the same that they once were when we started doing these. And uh, at this point, you guys know my thoughts on some different things. So I don't want to repeat them uh, constantly, but of course, you know, we will uh, make note of a lot of things that we see here. So starting off with the 1958 Montegum Garincha. Um, this is not a rookie, but it's, it's early Garincha, I guess. Um, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about the rookie designation, but, you know, Pele rookie year, Garincha stuff is still, you know, moderately collectible. At least it's seen that way, and you know, I'd agree. I think they're fun. Uh, this set, you know, kind of controversial, but it is what it is. Um, 2021, Gavi, red out of 25, Topps Chrome, or Topps Museum. Oops, my bad. Um, nice looking card. I mean, honestly, it seems kind of cheap, but at the same time, you know, how much hype does Gavi have really at the moment? Not much obviously uh by that sale Lionel messi 2020 mega cracks on a 10 going for 120 that's a pretty decent price i would say obviously it's a 10 but uh, that card is pretty plentiful as well 2016 card from the uh, portugal world cup we also have a uh, a moderately early eusebio um really nice looking picture i would say um very photogenic there from eusebio and uh, the big old eyebrows as well just uh just lovely we have an endrick 2022 sticker and a psa 9 going for a decent bit um yeah, I mean, just generally speaking, um, you know, young players, especially young player stickers, I'd be very weary of. We will see a young player sticker here in a bit, but that is uh, interesting to see. I haven't really seen any of these, I don't think, sell on PWCC, or maybe I haven't been looking hard enough. Above that, I thought this was kind of cool, a uh, 1997 Manchester United Futera, uh, David Beckham, an SGC 6, numbered out of 250, though. Um, does this also say rookie? This also says rookie. I, I don't know what PWCC classifies as rookie. I guess if they just don't know and it's kind of early, they just throw it out on there. Um, but it is a really cool card, and you really don't see it that often, so that's a fun one. Uh, next to that, Paolo Maldini and a 5 going for 120. We then have a, uh, a 1934 Italian team, it would seem, in a SGC 5.5. Above that, we have a 1966 Beckenbauer going for 150. PSA pop one of two, none higher. Um, looks really nice. Can't really, you know, comment on the scarcity or rarity of it, but that does look good. Orange Prism Boost Gets going for 140. I guess it's a 10, so I, I can sort of see that, but that feels like a, a pretty strong price for Boost Gets. I don't really see, you know, any of his stuff really sell, so that's fun to see. Obviously, PSA 10 is going to help that out. That would imply like a 9 is 40 to 50 bucks, which isn't too crazy, I would say, for a, a Spanish legend i know the word legend gets thrown around a lot but you know pretty uh integral part Rui patricio coming on through with the uh kaboom as well so i guess that's you know kind of two uh i i guess i wouldn't put them on the same tier but what i would say is just you know names you don't really see in these auctions showing up so that's fun as well um above that oh my lord um i've never seen this <laughs> 1972 top sellers pele um we're just gonna keep moving next to that a, a 1964 crack campion uh we got a, a pog pele here um looks pretty good i mean i always like the uh, uniqueness of it obviously i guess if this was made in modern day people would say this is atrocious but i, I think it looks pretty nice next to that an erling holland sunburst from 2022-23 revolution um interesting to see some uh, very modern cards you know I, I guess for holland what that's a fourth well third fourth year numbered card so early at man city which you know has uh, some sort of play at this point but we'll see uh, going forward how that plays out um 2021 22 pele heroic relics um or heroes relics wondering if this is uh, game worn it is futera so one would hope um but do do this card captures a time okay um yeah so appears to be nothing there so i would imagine not game worn um which then you know makes it a uh, futera numbered card realistically which doesn't have a, a ton of value as you can see 150 for a, a pele game worn patch would would be ridiculous so you know that's on me for even looking really um we have a beam team mbappe and a 10 going for 170 um really don't know the prices on these but it's fun to see sort of the crossover between beam team and soccer as well and it sort of makes it easier for you know basketball people to collect or you know even get into soccer i know some people don't really understand why this would be a thing but i think it you know helps kind of cross over people and uh, make it a bit more of a, an enjoyable collecting experience for them which i think is important even if it's not for you or i um i do feel like that has value so we have a, uh, a psa 10 killing mbappe base um 
I could go look it up. Realistically, we, we probably know what's happened with Killian Mbappe base prism uh, down a lot. So PSA 10, 170. Uh, next to that, we have an out of, I believe it's two, yeah, 249. Um, is this a variation? I'm unsure. There's two different ones in the 2015 set. So you have to, uh, you know, look at that yourself. Realistically, there's like 500 camos in a 10 going for 170 feels like a, a pretty decent price from a, uh, not a massive set, not a massive parallel, kind of just, uh, you know, another card for Ronaldo, I would say. Uh, 1966 Voetbal Internationale, a Dutch team with uh, with Johan Cruyff. I look through here, I think he's right down there. Don't quote me on that, um, but he is obviously somewhere in there, and this is uh, pre-rookie, so if you're into that. Um, talked about that last week, but again, you know, I guess if it's pre-rookie, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm more open to it. I mean, for 170 bucks, I guess it's not, you know, a massive amount of money. But at the same time, um, you know, you got to know how many are, of these are out there. And realistically, I would look for them raw before uh, going for graded. We have a uh, pretty late Pele here in a 10. People always pay premium for Pele 10s, even if they're common, even if they're, you know, post-career. He just he has that appeal, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, it's Pele. Uh, 1902 Willis Football Series. Have no clue on this one, to be honest with you, but... Love seeing the old stuff here in the auction. That is, uh, that's good for soccer, I would say. Uh, 2015 blue out of 299, going for a little bit more than the uh, camo did. Uh, this does have the white jersey compared to the red, so maybe that plays a factor. Also, I think cam or I think blue just looks better than camo. So, uh, just personal preference. Above that, we have a 2014 Prism World Cup stars Messi going for 200 in an eight. Doesn't feel like a terrible price, but at the same time, you know, obviously in that set, there's a there's a lot of other messes you would go for. Personally, I like the World Cup stars, um, but I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. Next to that, we have a gold Merlin Wizards 2020 out of 59.5 Messi going for near 200. We have a Gary Lineker. Uh, I do believe that this is a rookie, the uh, Daily Star. So PSA pop a one of two, none higher. Um, doesn't have rookie in the title, so maybe I, I am uh, to be corrected on that, but we shall see. 2003 Upper Deck Ronaldo, PSA 8 going for 200. Those are obviously down a good bit, I'd say, in terms of Ronaldo items. I've taken a beating. That is certainly one of them. Um, PSA 8, not a, not a great grade, but uh, I guess not terrible at the same time. Was graded a while back, so that is to be considered. Next to that, 1965 Pele and what would appear to be basically med grade going for 200. Really nice looking there with the, uh, with the bright green background. Then we have the 1982 Diego Maradona World Cup sticker. So uh, PSA 5, um, you're obviously going to always have the debate of, you know, which one would you rather have with Maradona? Would you rather have 82 or 86? I think most people almost always prefer the first World Cup sticker, but obviously, you know, 86 Maradona sort of has that uh, that allure behind it. Nonetheless, that's uh, not a great grade, obviously, in a 5, but a, a reasonable price point and a, a fun collecting purchase if you're into that. I think the World Cup stickers are a really fun narrative that, I mean... Obviously gets talked about, but, you know, people aren't out there hounding them, so I think that it is fun. We have a 2019 Panini Mega Cracks Rodrigo going for 222, which is a, feels like a pretty decent price point. I, I haven't seen many of these myself personally, uh, just because it wasn't a, uh, you know, a player being talked about in the hobby. But obviously, you know, as time goes on, that changes a little. 2005 PSA 9 messy this feels like a really high price point now to be fair i haven't checked out the pop reports for this so maybe they are really hard to grade and i'm just behind the eight ball on that there is no psa pop listed here but these are relatively common cards so um you should be able to find them in a nine obviously that's going to be you know much more difficult but still pretty good price there um 9.5 gold 2021 gavi out of 50 going for uh 228 we have a, uh, a rookie Camavinga, pink mosaic out of 25, going for 228. Next to that, a uh, I guess pre-rookie for uh, Dennis Bergkamp there, a PSA 5. Not a sticker, not a card, but you know, still a, a fun one, I guess, if you're a Dennis Bergkamp collector. Then we have a 1978 Zico sticker going for 234 in a PSA 8. Really like the design on this set, and obviously, you know, you got some big names like you do in most World Cup sets, so it's a fun one. Then we have a 1934 Ardath Stanley Matthews. I actually want to take a look at this just because this is like, you know, kind of a key Stanley Matthews. This goes for 240. Last one actually did 210, so a little bit up from there. However, if you want to go from the eBay best offer, you know, 300, 560 before. So up from the from the low that we've seen lately, uh, but relatively compared to all-time highs, still down, which is uh, to be expected, I would say. BGS 8, Messi, 71 bis, second year. I actually thought this went kind of high, personally. Um, 
you know, not to my own horn, but I recently bought a 7.5 for, you know, near a hundred dollars, um, something like that. So the eight going for 250 seemed a bit high, but realistically, I think that these have been, uh, you know, kind of beaten up a, a bit too much. You really can't find them raw in good condition, readily available at decent price points, um, from what I can find. So being able to get them graded and in good condition and, you know, probably the go-to second year messy, I would say, seems like a decent price point. Alternatively, you could go for the uh, the white Campio in a uh, 6.5 for 250. We always talk about it, but the least preferred of the messy rookies. So it sort of makes sense why it goes in that range. And honestly, I feel like that's a pretty good sale. Um, I always sort of comp them off of PSA 8s doing, you know, 400 to 600 range and, uh, you know, probably closer to 500 realistically. So a 6.5 in BGS doing 250 is not bad at all, I would say. Um, a 1998 Chevy going for 250 there. Um, not the most rare, but also not the most common Chevy. Uh, looks really good, so fun to see that. 252. Pele Leaf Auto going for 276. So you know Leaf Auto is doing what they do. Mosala out of 199 PSA 10 2018 World Cup going for 276. That feels like a pretty high sale um, from what I would think. Yeah, so this PSA 10 goes for 276. The last one in February went for 110. So <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty major boost. Um, unsure as to why that happened. To be honest, though, there there wasn't a sale in almost you know three months. So maybe someone was just getting a little antsy, wanted to go for it. Before that, they were uh, I guess they were never really all terribly high. I mean, there's been sales in the past for three to four hundred, but that's sort of an arbitrary you know buy it now and. Typically, you know, some people might say, oh, that's shield, you know, no one's ever paying a massive premium on a buy in but people do. I mean, I think that, you know, people might be a little too skeptical. Those seem like perfectly fine sales, and you'll see that a lot. I mean, buy it nows typically do a lot better than auctions, especially for odds and ends sorts of things. Um, above this, we have a, a 1958 Yashin. Uh, this is actually a rookie as far as I'm aware. Uh, conveniently enough, this doesn't have rookie on it, while uh, the Grincha did, even though it's like a fifth year Grincha, um, but it is what it is. 276 is a price point there, not bad at all, and uh, really like the, uh, the action shot, I guess, there with the, uh, you know, massive arms and legs. 2020 Pedri Auto in a uh, PSA 1010, going for $300 there. Next to that, we have what would appear to be the most rare of the... Uh, of the messy graded cards and that is the foil monday chromo um this one i mean <laughs> you know you can tell right off the bat i think the centering is like a 5.5 or something but look at that cut right there i mean down here all the way to up there i mean i don't you know i don't know how psa grades that i feel like psa wouldn't even grade that to be honest with you but i do not know uh yeah interesting to look at i mean 5.5 on the centering so obviously they ding that a lot for that but realistically you know i don't think that that's getting a decent grade with PSA. Nonetheless, goes for $300, which for that uh, feels pretty solid, I would say, um, in the past. You know, I, I've always sort of thought that these do similar prices to, uh, you know, the Campios, which I think is a little unjust. I do think that this is is more rare, is, you know, the only hollow messy rookie. So I, I think it has a lot of things going for it that the, uh, that the team set doesn't. Um, but seeing a 5.5 go for, you know, $50 more than a 6.5 is is pretty impressive. And I didn't expect that, to be honest. I thought maybe this would go for, you know, 150, 250 range. So 300 is pretty solid. 1974 Mario Kempes. Um, doesn't say rookie. I don't believe it is. We went through that last week. There's, uh, there's a couple earlier things there. So uh, a fun one, certainly, but uh, nothing too, too crazy, it wouldn't appear. 1935 Stanley Matthews in a nine going for 300. Next to that, we have an orange Killian Mbappe. Uh, I guess maybe rookie. I don't know if people consider optic rookies. Um, I know that they do for Prism, of course. Then we have a Kubala PSA 6, a really fun looking one there from 1952 going for 312. PSA pop one of one, none higher. RJ and Hill Stanley Matthews in an eight going for 324. So a couple nice Stanley Matthews going this week. Next to that, we have a Sergio Aguero 2015 Select Gold going for 336, which Seems like a pretty good price. I mean, Aguero stuff, you really don't see all too often going for high amounts. Obviously, it's a gold and moderately early uh, Aguero, I guess, compared to, you know, maybe some of the later stuff that you would see with Man City and all that jazz. At least in terms of good products, it's it's one of the earlier ones, you would say. There's a one of one spellbound Cristiano Ronaldo. Basically, this has, uh, you know, every letter uh, from his name and you can put them all together. So that one of one going for 350. I mean, when you say Ronaldo one of one going for 350, that seems pretty low but obviously if you're gonna you know buy that you have to do the task of putting together the whole name which uh then could just be really difficult if one person decides to hold one person just doesn't even know they, what they have i mean you know it could go really any way 
BGS 7.5 Catalan going for 360 here of the uh, the blue Campio. So that's, uh, I, I would say, I mean, between the blue and the white, I'd rather pay the, uh, the extra 100, get a plus one on the grade, get the blue version, which is harder to grade and, in my opinion, looks better. So I think that this is a, a better deal, but still a fair price point for a messy rookie at this point. Um, PSA 8, Kylian Mbappe going for 372. We've seen the graph recently for this. This is about where it should be realistically. I do wonder if there's some sort of play on it. Um, obviously, you know, I get that people don't like base anymore. I get that people don't like stickers. So it's kind of like, you know, the thing everyone doesn't like. Um, but in reality, when we talk about one true rookie and only having one rookie card, you know, I think, I think Mbappe is that. And I know, you know, the irony of me saying rookie card while talking about a sticker. But when we're talking about rookie material, this is the Mbappe rookie. And uh, people don't seem to treat it like that. I mean, this is about the same price point, I think, that you would expect for a Holland uh, foosball. And Holland has a ton, a ton of different, you know, ways to go about that. So I do feel like that's kind of low, but obviously when you compare it to all time and you talk about what stickers are and, you know, people think they aren't collectible. So you can make whatever case you want for it. Personally, I think that, I still think that it's really cool. Above that, and SGC three blue name Eusebio. So the blues are more common. The yellows are, are the rare ones that you're going to want to go after. But I mean, realistically, you know, even the blues are very cool and having a three go for 384 is nice to see. Next to that, we have the Kareem Benzema uh, McDonald's. This is a, uh, you, you can call it a rookie. Um, it's it's a second year uh, compared to the WCCF, um, but whether or not you want to count the WCCF, that's always you know up in the air for people to decide. But definitely a, a more rare Benzema. Seems like the rarest as far as I'm aware, and it has a cool little McDonald's promo there on the back. You got Ronald McDonald hiding behind the view. Don't, oh, there it goes. I was going to say, I don't really want to click on it, but there it is. Then we have a gold Zlatan out of 10 going for 408 there in a PSA 9, so pretty good price point. Really cool card, I will say. Uh, probably something, I, I've seen this happen before, where these are the types of cards that you can buy on eBay and then sell on PWCC for premiums. At least it would seem to me. Um, I don't know if we saw this exact one uh, do the same thing recently, but it was a Zlatan gold. I think it was like a 2015 or 2016, but you... I mean, basically someone doubled up their money by buying it on eBay, selling it on PWCC. So these types of cards that look really cool and are, you know, pretty uh, astonishing to see um, can fall through the cracks on eBay because, you know, I might not be looking for this. But if I see it on PWCC, you know, maybe I go for it. Obviously, I didn't go for this one, but just, you know, sort of throwing out the thought process there. I do think that that's a uh, potential play. Then we have a uh, Christian Pulisic Select Silver Prism. This is a uh, PSA 10. Surely these are down. You know, I don't know what they peaked at, but I mean, realistically for me, I, I still think 450 ish dollars almost for a, uh, a silver Pulisic rookie. I think that that's pretty impressive. Um, next to that, I mean, just when we talk about the row that he's in, you know, we got uh, Maradona right here, 1979 Crack Super Football. Uh, this is the uh, the same picture as the 78 Estampas, but it's actually like blown up and you kind of get a bigger sticker. So, I mean, just from the, uh, you know, I, I appeal standpoint, I do like it. Um, but at the same time, obviously not going to hold the same premium. A, uh, a SGC 3 going for 430 there. 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Orange Lionel Messi out of 65 and a 9 going for near $500. This is just one of the examples I would throw out there, you know, everyone's got this this whole hype narrative behind 2022 Prism and why everyone's going to buy them because Messi won. Now, I understand it's the World Cup Messi won and there's going to be this, you know, uh, sort of fanfare for that. But, you know, this 2018 Prism, this is numbered out of 65. This is a year where comparatively there's a lot less parallels than we're seeing now. And you know, it doesn't really do crazy numbers like you might think. Now, obviously he didn't win the World Cup, but at the same time, are there going to be thousands upon thousands of people just wanting the the prism from the World Cup year he won when there's so many other options? You know, that's that's hard for me to see. It's possible, surely, but, you know, this is, uh, I guess, one of the uh, examples of why you might want to be a little weary, but obviously to each their own, just my opinion. Above that, we have a uh, 1968 Panini Calci Tori Pele in a 6, going for a pretty decent number there, a 528. Looks really, really nice, I will say. Um, next to that, a Jao Felix PSA 9 Gold going for 550. Feels like a pretty strong number, but just from the Jao Felix point of view, obviously, you know, not a player that's gotten much hype at all lately. He got the Chelsea move, which, you know, gave a little boost to his market, but obviously then, you know, where Chelsea's at, that's not really too fun. Um, in terms of, like, players that had the worst potential start to their career in terms of, you know, position and the team that they're on. And 
I think that this is one of the players that maybe could break out of that, right? But at the same time, you never really know, and it's all sort of a risk. Um, to be fair, I don't own, like, Jao Felix numbered rookies, right? I'm not pumping, right? I'm not pumping. I'm just saying, you know, there's these times in soccer where you always, like, you have some guys like an Mbappe or a Holland that do it the whole way through, and then you have other guys that, you know fall off the path a little bit at the beginning and then you know regain form i could see that being him i do think you know when i watch him as a player i think he looks just immaculate on the field very enjoyable to watch but at the same time you know the end product hasn't been there and the uh, clubs he's on hasn't haven't been the best for him to uh, display that so it is what it is i guess comparatively you know when we talk about this obviously mbappe did win this world cup but a psa 10 gold sticker going for 600 feels pretty strong to me um you know, again, I know he won, but these these stickers aren't all that rare at all. I mean, you know, they're the they're the opposite of rare. Obviously, it's a gold version. You got like the pink back and the blue back. I think those are no, I think it's black and pink. Um, either way, there are a ton of World Cup stickers, so paying a, a good premium for that is uh, is something I wouldn't do, but to each their own, of course. Again, uh, 2020 tops Merlin Chrome Lionel Messi in a uh, in a gold out of 50. That's a, a jersey number as well, so going for a good price there at 630. Um, I, I will say I like the design of Merlin Chrome. I don't I don't quite understand. Um, I guess the appeal of it as a set i don't go out there and think man i gotta go get some merlin but maybe in due time that becomes a thing i don't know but i, I do think it looks nice i like the uh the consistent borders i always love a a nice you know rectangular bordered set i think it's nice and classic and uh you know appealing to the eye next to that 2020 tops museum uefa patch from uh camavinga out of 25 sgc 9 going for or i guess an sgc 10 9 well I guess depending on if you're looking at the auto or the grade and uh yeah going for 660 feels like a pretty good number i mean for a uh, for a sticker auto patch um comparatively earlier we saw the out of 25 mosaic go for pretty cheap so that seems like a, a decent price there 2020 jude bellingham sapphire yellow going for 660 and a nine again feels like a, a pretty strong price i would say i mean obviously you know people like sapphire but 700 dollars for a nine of jude when he has a lot of different rookie options is not bad at all Martinelli auto from Mosaic going for uh, near $700 and a 10-10. Alternatively, we have a, a Neymar 2018 Tops Chrome out of what, five? Yeah, out of five going for uh, $690. Not, not a terrible price, I guess, if you're a Neymar collector. It's sort of a, a cool card, but the set itself doesn't have a ton going for it. Tops Chrome, you know, sort of a set that's respected, but it's not first year, obviously. So you're going to, you know, have to, you know, be behind someone else in terms of, you know, who has cooler Neymar cards, I guess. But as a Neymar collector, I would feel like that is a, a pretty fun purchase, certainly. A 2017 Panini France Killing Mbappe foot sticker. Uh, this is going for $720. To be honest, I. I don't ever see these really. Um, I'm guessing that's just because people aren't auctioning them off readily on sites. I, I really don't know, but this isn't one that I see all too often. Uh, going for 720, you would feel like is a, is a pretty decent price point. Again, I mean, alternatively, you know, you could go back and get the PSA. You get two rookie stickers and an eight, or you could get the second year sticker and a 10. I, I feel like I'd much rather have the, the rookie sticker, but or I guess the two rookie stickers, but that's just me. Authentic altered messy 71 bins going for 750. I, I you know I thought that this would be interesting to see where it goes. Um, I always wish that you know BGS would would tell you what they feel like is altered. Um, given sort of the the wear on the back, you know I wouldn't think that someone was uh, was trimming this. I mean looking looking at the corners. I mean those corners are, are pretty eaten on on basically every side. Um, but, you know, obviously BGS saw something and I, I would trust them, right? You know, sometimes BGS gets it right, huh, guys? Huh? Then we have a 1965 Panini Calciatore Pele. This is uh, just a great looking Pele. I believe it's second year uh, Panini for him. But yeah, 750 for a, uh, a PSA 6, top 30% it says. So I think I think it looks amazing. Obviously, you know, people pay a premium for Pele given, uh, you know, his rightful uh, crown in soccer. Or I guess crown that maybe could be shared with Messi or maybe others if you want to debate that. Nonetheless, 750 for that looks like a, a really nice price point and a, a really fun collectible, certainly. Uh, it just looks amazing with uh, Pele in that nice looking Brazil kit. I say it a lot, but I always love the backgrounds and the and the colors of this. Like comparatively, you know, people love and people go crazy for the, the colors and modern. I think that this is so much more beautiful than that. <laughs> like just having like red sparkles all around someone doesn't do it for me the, quite like this does. Um, maybe that's just me, but you know, that's that's definitely how I feel. 
Um, PSA 9 Campion, messy going for near 800. A little light, but at the same time, it's not Campio. It's, you know, the worst of the team set. So 800 seems to make sense. Um, here we have an out of 25, Ronaldo 2018 Finest going for 810. Feels like a, a fair price point, I would say. I mean, when you compare it to, say, the Neymar back here, you know, I'd, I'd pay a little bit more, I feel like, for the, uh, for the Ronaldo Finest. Um, here we have a 2019 Early Holland. This is the, uh, I guess, short print. Um, him in the Dortmund kit from the same set where you could get him in the Salzburg kit. Um, you know, I guess the appeal here is that there are less of them, so you know it's it's more rare than the uh, than the base refractor that you're going to find. Um, realistically, I don't like it. I mean, for me, you know, I always say if you're going to get early Holland rookies, I would feel you know like I would want Salzburg, and so to go in the set where you can get him with Salzburg, but then pick his Dortmund card just feels so weird to me. But it is what it is. Um, we'll look this up. Pele 1958 Gazetta in a two. This is going to be interesting. Um, one thing I will add is that the uh, the two that we did see there, the borders, I didn't really like too much, but you know, teach their own. Last sale was 960. This sale is 990. Three months later, so up, you know, a small percent, but compared to the highs, down, of course. Um, the back here doesn't look great, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the front, yeah, this is sort of what I was talking about. I mean, you can see, like, the side of another player right there. You can see the top of where it was cut out. So I think whoever was doing this was basically planning, like, hey, if this doesn't get a good grade, maybe I, I do another snip. And, um, you know, it is what it is. That's what you got to know whenever you're going into that type of stuff. Wow, that is a, <laughs> that is a high sale. Oh, my Lord. Uh, it says, this is 1981. Panini Football 81, but I think, I mean, in the title, it says 1980-81. I'm guessing 80-81 is correct, but a PSA 9 Ronald Komen going for a, a little over a 1,000. I mean, that that feels strong. Um, I'm guessing here, I mean, the centering doesn't look bad. It looks a little off left to right, but uh, top 30% for nines, which, again, you know, when it's a pop one of one, I don't know how you can say it's the top 30% of nines, but whatever, whatever. Going for a 1,020, I... I honestly, this is the first time I've gone through this where I didn't look at everything beforehand and pull up, you know, sales on the side. I want it to be a bit more organic and I knew we weren't going to look up as much. And wow, that just, that shocks me. But that's always fun to see. I always love seeing big sales. Um, it's good for, it's good for the seller. And it obviously means that there are two buyers out there that are wanting to go after it, which is always fun. 1970 Pele in a nine going for a little over a thousand right there. Lovely looking sticker. We also then have the 1959 Heinerle, um, a pretty coveted set. And uh, having Pele in there, of course, is going to bring a strong price to him. A thousand for a PSA three. Want to take a look at Heinerle, Pele's, and a PSA three to see what some have done before. I guess the last one that's close is a 3.5 that sold on Golden for 1500. So this one going for a thousand would seem to be a little down, but realistically not too bad. Uh, also uh, an earlier cert, so maybe people aren't as trusting in the grade. Uh, that could also play a factor. Then we have a PSA 10 Holland Foosball going for 1300. This is actually a little up. Um, recently we, we've seen it lingering around the thousand dollar mark, so that would seem to be a pretty solid sale there. Light blue Lionel Messi going for uh, 1300. Um, I guess comparatively we saw the out of 65 orange in a uh, in a nine go for pretty cheap. Obviously this is you know this is sort of a more of a color match so you do have that going for it and a pretty decent price as is. Uh, this Mbappe we saw a couple of them go last week in a PSA 10 for 1400, 1500. So down a little bit but nothing too crazy there. Another one going there for 1320. We then have a 2017 Topps Chrome Purple going for 1410. I do want to look that up. I don't know if I said PSA 10 or 9, but either way, we'll see here. That went for 1410. The last uh, purple and a 9 actually went for 1376. So up a small bit there. Um, to be fair, I guess that was sold during the World Cup. So I don't know. You could probably make the case that maybe at that time someone bought that thinking he might win the World Cup. He didn't, but yeah, it's still the same price. Could sort of be seen as a win, I would say. Um, but yeah, interesting to see there. There also wasn't one that sold for a long time, which was interesting. Um, here you have another foosball Holland going for 1440. So a pretty good price point. I just want to check here to make sure. Um, that's, that seems like a good percent increase, but I, I could be mistaken in how I'm remembering this. Um, so let's, let's take a peek here. So three months. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, I thought that this was lingering around a thousand. Yeah. These sales are, are pretty strong this last, uh, these last few weeks, to be honest. So that's, uh, that's fun to see there if you're in the Holland market. Um, I'd imagine that there's discrepancy in terms of uh, which one is the uh, the first print. There's there's different printings for this, and this one looks darker than this one. 
you can go into the details if you want. Personally, I'm not too privy on them at the moment. I've, I've read up on it in the past, but I, I forgot because I don't really buy many Holland Foosball stickers. So 2015 Flawless Ronaldo out of 11 patch going for 1500 Really fun to see there. I mean, just a, a game used kit. Uh, number to 11 does a pretty big number, so that's always interesting. As for the, uh, the colors on there, I'm unsure as far as where that's from. Um, sometimes there's like parts of signatures that are that are in these patches. I don't think that that's it because it looks pretty clean, but... Um, looking at the kit, I'm kind of unsure as to where that blue would be coming from. Uh, next to that, we have a Rivaldo and a PSA 9 going for 1600 Um, I want to look that up because I feel like that is very bad, to be honest. Um, Rivaldo, PSA 9, 1992. My bad, that's 1993. Alright, so we did have the same one auction off. Wow, wow. I don't know if it's the same one, to be honest. I'm guessing it is. Um, let me take a peek there. So that says, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that's the same exact one. And uh, someone just took a 50% haircut in the span of six months. So interesting. Uh, card ladder actually valued that at 2,600. So, you know, <laughs> that's, that's pretty rough. Um, next to that, we have a, a quad Brazilian auto uh, from, what is this, 2018 Prism and a PSA 10 going for 1650. Uh, pretty fun one there. I mean, Three pretty relevant names, I would say, just from my, uh, you know, American point of view. Above that, we have a uh, 2020 Topps Chrome UEFA Red Refractor Messi out of 10 in a PSA, oh, PSA 8 going for 1700 um, A very high price there, but obviously, you know, out of 10, so people are going to pay a good price no matter the grade. Uh, fun to see that one. Here we have a Franco Baresi in a PSA 9 going for 2500 My word. It is a pop, one of one, so I guess that, that is why. Um, I, whenever I went through this auction initially, I saw it. I did not know that that was as much of a monster as that is. Looking at all-time sales for the uh, Baresi, basically there was uh, there was a PSA 8.5 that sold in October for exactly the same price. So if you want to look at it like that, I guess the uh, the nine sold a bit lower than maybe anticipated. Um, a PSA 8 sold a whole year ago for 2160. So yeah, I mean, I guess relatively down a little bit. This was graded not too recent, but relatively recent. And, um, you know, obviously a grail sticker there, especially if you're a, uh, I guess, just a goat collector or an Italian or Milan collector in particular. Uh, next to that, a 2004 Panini Mega Cracks Messi 71 bits and a PSA 6 going for 2760. Uh, of course, we'll take a look at this since it's basically, I, I would say, the card of the market at this point. So, so yeah, this sale actually up a, a good bit from the two prior. So the uh, two prior were 2300, then 2500, now 2760. You know, I, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but 3 months up uh, up 27%. And keep in mind this is 3 months, you know, post World Cup. This isn't including his World Cup result. People knew in February Messi had won the World Cup. So that's pretty interesting and uh you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to be excited or positive during these times, but maybe that could be a, a cause for some. And then we hit the top, oh, top six, actually. I thought this was going to be the top three. A pretty big week here, actually. Um, the last few weeks, we barely had any sales around here. So this is fun. We have, uh, firstly, a PSA 10 2006 Lionel Messi World Cup card. So I want to take a look at that. Um, I mean... I think it'd be a fun question in terms of what would you rather have? Would you rather have the 71 bits and a PSA 6 plus a thousand cash or the PSA 10, um, you know, 2006 World Cup card? I'm guessing most people would probably take the 2004, you know, rookie, but that that comes with the, the added caveat that most people probably would want that first. Then you might go for the uh, 2006 PSA 10. Um, so this sale actually a good bit down from the last one. Uh, 4750 down to 3800 so pretty good haircut there i mean alternatively you know this is also what can be seen to be happening so we saw at that messy 71 bis up i think it was like 15 25 percent somewhere in that uh range and this one's actually down 20 percent despite you know having the rookie go up so interesting to see there um you know i think that these just had a crazy narrative at one point i don't you know i don't know what to say about the price point at this time but obviously the narrative at one point was insane uh, 25k for a, uh, a first world cup card i know it's pop 100 and so that is you know, it would seem to be pretty rare um as far as the the pop increase basically been very steady ever since august of last year so august of last year it was at 86 you know almost nine months since then eight to nine months since then and we've only had a uh, i guess a plus 10 so it's about it's about one a month coming into the uh, population report so it is still uh, occurring 
but uh, not at you know too high of a rate by any means. Then we have a 1980 top football Rude Hullet going for 3,900 almost in a uh, in a PSA nine. A very rare sticker that we can uh, try to take a peek at and see what it does. So taking a look at these here, I just uh, sorted by highest price point to see basically what's happened. So a, uh, a PSA 8 went for, you know, 1230 relatively recent. So compared to that, that would seem like the PSA 9 sale was pretty high. To be fair, the PSA 9, I, I believe it said pop one of one. So, you know, it holds sort of a different category. Um, but in 2021, a PSA 6 actually went for 2640. So, I mean, comparatively to that 6, it looks like a steal for the 9. Comparatively to the 8, looks a little bit like an overpay. But to be fair, again... Um, you know, pop one of one. So when you have that added caveat, obviously you can overpay and feel good about it, especially for what would seem to be a pretty rare sticker as is. Uh, speaking of that, we have a 1981 Carlos Valderrama rookie sticker. Really fun looking one. Always love the uh, the yellow borders and uh, quite a cool picture there of him within the stadium. Going for 4,000 there. PSA pop one of one, none higher. So again, a rare sticker and in that grade, very, very impressive. Going for near 4,000. So that is also a fun one. Uh, here really can't look up comps um i guess I, I could try to see what we got going on so 1981 carlos Val. we'll see if that'll just do it yeah so um yeah we only have that <laughs> so it is what it is you can pay whatever you want and i guess feel uh feel pretty good about it so uh or be terrified of it either way um it's a fun one for sure i you know i have no clue on this market myself but if there is a three you would wonder like I mean, if a six somehow showed up, now to be fair, again, you know, it's pop 101, not higher, so you don't know. But if a six showed up, like, what would it do? Would that comparatively then do like 20,000? You know, 15,000? Probably not. It would probably, you know, do pretty low. But then the question is, will the six pop up? And that's sort of, you know, something you have to ask yourself and be able to try to figure out. Moving into the top three, this is a uh, pretty diverse uh, week, I would say. Here we got three different players. Mostly goats, you know, some on their way. Uh, here we have a Maradona one of one. Um, Obsidian Auto going for 4,300 right there. Really cool card. Um, obviously, can't really comp this. Can't see what it typically does, but 4,300 is a, a pretty hefty price. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I mean, when I saw the card, when I scrolled through the auction, I was like, man, that is a great card. But at the same time, it is technically just a sticker auto. But having him in the Barca kit, I do like that quite a bit. Always loved his auto. I do feel like, uh, especially, you know, uh, post-passing, that always uh, sort of hits differently. And uh, 4300 there is a, a fun price to see. This one I was basically blown away by. <laughs> I did not expect this. Um, maybe if it was like a black label, I, I could see the massive premium. But this is a BGS 10 um, going for 5700 So if you don't remember earlier, um, <laughs> I mean, they went for 1200 and... 1400 and you know i guess if you told me it was a black label it would go three times a psa 10 four times a psa 10 i could see that but it's not even a black label i i maybe i'm missing something here maybe this is like first print and this is one of the few first prints that's gotten a 10 or you know there's probably some narrative i'm missing um but almost six thousand for a psa 10 or i guess a bgs 10 um that just seems that seems crazy to me but you know, teach their own. And if you're a big Holland guy, obviously it's a, it's a fun sticker and a great grade. So, you know, who's to say? And then finally to round it out, we have the 2020 impeccable Premier League stats. Cristiano Ronaldo, this has uh, his goals from, I believe it says 2007, 2008 season. Uh, and you have an on-card auto. People tend to love the set and, uh, you know, the different sorts of uh, cards that you can collect within it. They all are, are pretty special, I would say. And they look really, uh, really impeccable. Um, but yeah, that's a fun one there. 6,000 for the on card Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, not a Jersey number, but still a, a very fun card. Nonetheless, coming there in a PSA eight. So overall, um, I, I like the, I like the mid to high end a bit more in this auction, at least, you know, up here, it felt like there was more going on than I've seen in priors, which is always fun, at least for me to commentate on. Um, but overall, I thought that it was really good. You kind of get a mix of everything at this point, which uh, makes it fun for me. And hopefully it does for you guys as well. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, of course, make sure to leave a like if you want to see more videos. As soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And also would love to hear your comments on, you know, some of the sales that you thought, if they were high or low, or some things that you maybe bought yourself down below in a comment. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.